Hi super funners, today we're going to look at my dinosaurs that start with the letter C. Camptosaurus lived in the late Jurassic period. Its name means bent lizard. Its skull was triangular with a long pointed snout, hundreds of teeth and a horny beak. Its legs were longer than its arms. It had broad four-toed feet and five-fingered arms, all with hooves. It could walk on two or four legs. Carcharodontosaurus lived during the mid-Cretaceous period. It was one of the largest theropod carnivores alongside Giganotosaurus and T-Rex, but slightly smaller than Spinosaurus. Carcharodontosaurus includes some of the longest and heaviest known carnivorous dinosaurs, with length estimates of around 43 feet and weighing between 7 to 8 tons. Carcharodontosaurus were carnivores with a skull length just over 5 feet. It had enormous jaws with 60 long serrated teeth that were up to 8 inches long. These teeth could slice through prey and tear it apart. They may have also been a scavenger. Carnotaurus lived during the late Cretaceous period. This bipedal predator could grow to 30 feet in length and weigh 1.35 tons. Carnotaurus had a distinctive look with its thick horns above the eyes and a very deep skull sitting on a muscular neck with a broad snout. Notice how slim the back legs are and the very small forelimbs. Carnotaurus had small pebbly scales on its skin and large bumps lined the sides of the animal. It may have used its horns in battle. They also protected its eyes when head butted. Carnotaurus had a strong open bite with long slender teeth and could swallow small prey whole. Its name means meat-eating bull. Carnotaurus could run fast and had a long tail. Cordipteryx was a feathered theropod dinosaur that lived in the early Cretaceous period. Its name means tail feather. Cordipteryx had an interesting mix of reptile and bird-like features. It had a short square skull with a beak-like snout. Its teeth were long and sharp with deep bulbous roots. These teeth were only in the front of the upper jaw and pointed outwards giving it a buck tooth look. Ceratosaurus lived during the late Jurassic period. It had an S-shaped neck and a short horn on its snout. The snout horn was for display purposes only. It had a massive tail, bulky body and heavy bones. The powerful short arms had four clawed fingers. Ceratosaurus could grow to 20 feet long, weighing up to one ton. Its skull had two short brow ridges with bony knobs and ridges above its eyes and on its head. The powerful jaws had long blade-like teeth. Ceratosaurus was a large, fierce predator that could kill even large sauropods. It may also have been a scavenger. 
Its name means horned reptile, referring to the horn on its nose. It lived at the same time as Allosaurus, Torphosaurus, Apatosaurus, Diplodocus, Stegosaurus and Camarasaurus. And here's a couple of old favourites at the toy box. This is Cetiosaurus. It lived during the late Jurassic period. It was a huge, long-necked, long-tailed dinosaur with a tiny head and a bulky body although it had a shorter tail and neck than most sauropods. The forelimbs were relatively long and it walked on all four legs. Cetiosaurus was about 52 feet long, weighing around 12 tons. Its name means whale lizard because of its primitive back vertebrae was solid like a whale's. Later sauropods had hollow vertebrae, which was a weight saving feature. Chasmosaurus lived in the late Cretaceous period it grew to 16 feet long and weighed about 2 tons. The Ceratopsian had 3 short horns on its face along with a large bony frill projecting from the back of its skull. Notice the corners of the frill featured 2 large osteoderms. It has 1 short wide horn on its snout above its parrot like beak and 2 backward facing brow horns above its eyes. When threatened by predators, Chasmosaurus probably charged into its enemy much like a modern day rhinoceros. Concavenator lived during the early Cretaceous period. Its hump may have been used for storing fat, much like a camel. Quill knobs have been found on the forearms, so it may have had some sparse proto feathers on its lower arms, although no feathers have been found so far to confirm this. On the underside of the tail, there were wide rectangular scales. Concavenator grew to 20 feet long weighing two tons. Notice the bird-like feet. It was a carnivore that ate small to medium-sized dinosaurs. Coethosaurus lived during the late Cretaceous period. It was a large, plant-eating, duck-billed dinosaur from the Hadrosauridae family. It was about 30 feet long and 6.5 feet tall at the hips, weighing up to 5 tons. It had a hollow, bony crest on the top of its long head in the shape of a helmet, flattened on the sides. The crest resembles the crest of the cassowary. Its name means helmet lizard. Coethosaurus's nostrils went up through the crest. The crest was most likely used for making sounds or possibly as a cooling device, courtship displays or for an increased sense of smell. Males had larger crests than females and juveniles. Cryolophosaurus lived during the early Jurassic period. It had a distinctive bony forward facing fan shaped furrowed crest on its head. Its name means cold crest lizard because it was found in Antarctica. Antarctica was much different back then, covered in forest. It grew up to about 26 feet long and up to half a ton in weight, making it one of the largest theropods of its time. A 25 inch long high narrow skull was discovered. The peculiar nasal crest runs just over the eyes, where it rises up perpendicular to the skull and fans out. The furrows give it a comb-like appearance. It is an extension of the skull bones near the tear ducts. They're fused on each side to horns which rise from the eye sockets, called orbital horns. Other carnivores like Monolophosaurus usually have crests that run along their skulls, while others such as Ceratosaurus or Carnotaurus have large horns sticking above their skulls. Thank you for watching my video. Stay on for lots more dinosaur videos right here on Super Fun Reviews.
see you again soon. For more dinosaur videos, click the picture.